Okay, what we're doing is we're finding out the PITI. And what is the PITI? It's the Principal Interest Tax and Insurance. It's gonna be the total payment of everything combined. Um, a lot of lenders wanna know what the ratio is and see if the uh, borrower can afford a, a payment of a particular number. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question. And this question is going to be very similar to what you'll see in the class and also in the estate exam. I'm sure the numbers will be a little bit different, but for the most part, it's going to be very similar. And it's a pretty easy equation to figure it out. What we need to do is go ahead and read the question carefully. A mortgage loan calls for monthly principal and interest payments of $2,186.25. The lender requires the borrowers to pay property taxes and hazard insurance in advance. So what we need to do is we need to calculate the borrower's PITI based on estimated annual property taxes of $2,850 and annual hazard insurance uh, of $1,680. Okay, $1,680. So let's go ahead and look at step one. Pretty easy process. We need to take the uh, $2,850 the annual property taxes, and we need to divide that by 12. Okay, so we need to divide that by 12, and that's going to give us a number of $237.50. So again, where we get that number from is we go up here, and we just say 2850, 2850, and we divide that by 12, and that gives us 23750. And the next step, all we need to do is we just need to take the annual uh, hazard insurance premium, which in this case is going to be sixteen hundred dollars uh, and eight sixteen eighty sixteen hundred eighty dollars, and it's going to be divided by again by twelve months, which is going to give you a total of one hundred and forty dollars. So these are the two numbers that we want to add on to our total payment here. So let's go ahead to step three, and if we go to step three, we'll click that here. So all we do is we bring this number down to this point. So you got $2,186.25. And what we want to do is we just want to add this $237.50 and put it here. And we want to add this $140 and put it here. And when we do that, we add these all together. Okay, We add them all up. And this will give us a grand total of $2,563.75. And that's gonna be your total PTI. So when they ask you what the total PTI is, all you have to do is factor all these in and do a little division uh, by 12 for the months and you'll get your PITI. 